In this training session, we're continuing with data's single journals. Now, I've processed three transactions already for this specific data. You'll see over here under balance details, I've got an outstanding amount of 2,530 days, 90 days we've got 1,500, and in 150 days we've got 3,000. Okay, That gives us a total of 7,000 Rand. If we go back to our spreadsheet, that is what we've done here. In other words, I've processed a transaction in August, in October, and in December. So I want to just mention again what's important at single journals. Single journals will allow you to process a transaction for a specific data. It allows you, very importantly, to select a date make the choice of what transaction type you would like to choose, whether it is a discount, a payment, a refund, an interest charge, a debtor's journal, or even a debtor's credit transaction. You make your selection. But then what's also very important is that you make sure your ledger allocation is correct. Making sure you select the correct ledger account. Then you specify your reference, order number, a ledger note if that, that, that is what you've got, and then the amount. And then you can process your journal. Now I want to show you, once you close that screen, it's going to ask you, would you like to print a summary? And you can say yes, and it will then give you a detailed summary of the transactions you've processed. Once we close our summary, I want to take you to data's inquiries. And I open the specific data, and if I say, now remember, we did not process any transactions in our current period, which at this stage is January. If I say show all, it will now show me my three transactions that I've processed in those periods. And if I click on balances, you'll see the correct breakup. And that concludes data's single journals.